My wife has been playing piano since she was a little girl, and specifically she's been playing this piano, which has been in her family since 1976. And while it is still in good condition, there are a couple of issues with it that need a little bit of updating. There's a missing decal on the center of the music stand. And there's also only one. <laughs> there's only one pull for the key cover. And so what I thought I would do, and I got permission from her, was to replace the knob with a stone one which I thought would be a fun project. It's held on from the back by a simple screw, so it's just hand tightened, which I think would make things easier. There will be an issue with getting the threads or something threaded inside a stone knob, but I have a couple of ideas for that. I think we need to figure out what size this is, get some dimensions, because I don't, we can't come out too much further from this without getting in the way of the keys. And I have to keep the inside where it's behind the, the pole. I have to keep that rather flush so it doesn't hit the keys when the bench is setting down here. Taking the knob and transferring all the dimensions to paper. It's about seven eighths inch wide. The bottom is three eighths inch. The little collar is an eighth and then the rest of it's seven eighths and yet somehow combined it's about nine nine sixteenths so there's an extra eighth of an inch in there the real question is what am i going to make the replacement out of here's the options i came up with petrified woods over here I think this is a jasper and this might be a jasper there's some kind of breccia there and uh, porphyry an agate with a bit of brown and white intermixed, and then kind of in the wild card is this lacy agate. But it's up to Morgan to decide. Get a little better. And I spritzed them down because it'll be kind of shiny when mm -hmm. it's polished, so it'll be more like when it's wet. Okay. So for this one, should I be looking at this? Probably get the cut kind of face wet. That was the wild card. I was going to say, that's uh, not something I was expecting. There's just a lot of personality in there. This one. That one? This one. Mm. The actual lapidary part of this video is going to be a little truncated. Most of the work was done in the club's shop, and so it's a little more difficult to get set up in there. But anyway, what we did was cut a one inch slab of the rock that Morgan chose and then cord that out using a one inch drill. Did that twice and then for the, in order to get it perfectly round, used a fastening machine to make it about more or less an inch in diameter fully and then do that for the top as well to get that totally level cord out the back using a smaller drill that was deep enough to match what was in the original knobs, lathed down a brass rod to fit inside there, which we ended up using for the threads as well. I had a set of some kind of jewelry making screw and threaded combo that I was going to use, but it, was, it would have been a little looser. And since uh, Mike is the, the guy's name, he had the capability to make something on his lathe, just went for it and it fit very snug. Once we had the drill and the top and bottom level and one inch round all the way around, switched over to the calving machine and just used the natural angle of the calving wheel to make the slight concave pattern on the back to make it a little more like a, a grabbable handle and made a cab top that was a, just a slight round to it. And once that was done, polished it up to 50,000 grit on a calving demon. Yeah. And then I went home and epoxied it all together. So let's uh, pick it up from there. 
I just mixed up a bit of quick weld epoxy, threaded inserts curing inside there now, recessed inside the ends so that it'll sit flush against the piano. And it's important to have the screws sitting in there while it's curing, because if you just squish down the little metal inserts and then inside the epoxy, then the epoxy will squish up into the threaded part and you won't be able to screw anything down into it. So keep that in mind. And I just barely managed avoiding putting my hand in the epoxy. How long has it been since there's been two handles on this piano? Uh, <laughs> that's an excellent question. I'm not sure I have a solid memory of that. So, um, at least 20 years, maybe? How do they look? They look good. They really match the wood well. like it was meant to be there. 